after the therapy, a will a child be completely normal, or is this how is this? What is the effect that the stem cells are going to have? Because I just want to know because some parents might have, the, or we are all hoping for our children to be normal. That is really that is the effect. But I just want to know the role that stem cells play. All right. See, the primary problem in children with autism is uh, that in the central part of their brain and particularly towards the back part and the medial part, there are areas that are not functioning 100%. And when we do special brain scans called PET CT scans, it shows that these areas are hypermetabolic. That means they're not functioning fully. Now. When we treat these patients with stem cells, we have noticed that the brain scans show us that these hypermetabolic areas become normal. And as they become normal, all the symptoms in the children gradually in a phase-wise process start improving. The first symptom to improve is their hyperactivity and their abnormal self-stimulatory behavior. This goes away in the first few weeks and it is very dramatic. Children who aren't able to sit for a few minutes also, you know, without making a noise, are now able to sit in a movie theater for over three hours quietly. So this is the first symptom that improves. The other symptoms that improve is their eye contact, their social behavior, their interaction with, uh, at home with their family, with their friends. What we've also found is that speech and communication also improves, but that is the last to improve. So there is a phase-wise improvement in these children. Now. What is our aim when we do this therapy? What we want for our children with autism is for them to have a f what we call functional independence. That means these children should not be dependent on anyone. They should be able to take care of their activities of daily living themselves. They should, not, they should be safe to themselves and safe for others. That means they should not hurt themselves or hurt others. And they should have enough comprehension that even if left alone, you know, they can live an independent life. So our aim is functional independence. And what we have found <coughs> is that not only do we achieve that, but a lot of our children go beyond that. Uh, I very clearly remember our, one of our first patients that we uh, treated, a boy called Shantanu. Actually, <coughs> he's on the cover of this book. You know, there's a book that we've written on, uh, it's a parent guide for autism. This is Shantanu, right? Okay. Uh, and uh, he, had, um, he had autism and when he came to us, he was very, hyperactive. I mean, he used to beat up his sister. It was very difficult to control. <coughs> a whole lot of symptoms of normal self-stimulatory behavior. Uh, after the treatment, he, you know, it's now, it's been three and a half years since we've treated him. Not only has all this completely gone, but now today the same child is completely cooperative at home. He drops his sister to school and comes back. But the most remarkable <coughs> thing of all, uh, he now takes tuitions or he teaches Deaf children mathematics. Can you believe that? A child who had special needs himself today is actually teaching deaf children mathematics. And how did we discover? It happened by chance. Actually, his mother was a teacher for the deaf. And once she was, she had some children who used to come over, uh, she used to teach them. And once she went away for some work and she came back and found Shantanu teaching her students mathematics. And then she let him do that. And now he's become very good at that. So a child who needed special care himself once is today looking after special children. Now that is the difference stem cell therapy can make. So, you know, you're talking about normal. Well, here you have somebody who can actually, you know, take care of others. Mm. So that is what has happened. But it takes several months and years. It's a slow process. 